Well, thank you all so much for joining me again today. Um, we're going to do a little bit of movement and we're going to mix it up a little bit here. But first off, to get warmed up, everybody arms out to the side, palms facing up and reaching away from your body. So I could be like this, but I'm really reaching away from my center line. And then with my palms facing up, I'm going to be pulsing my thumbs back towards the wall behind me. Or in my case, it's a corner, but you know what I mean. Pulsing, 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 really engaging your rear delts, the muscles behind your shoulder, the muscles all across your upper back to keep pulling those thumbs backwards. Check in with your shoulders, drop them away from your ears as you continue to pulse. Beautiful. Check in with your core, making sure that your core is drawn in, engaged, your spine is nice and long. And go ahead and bring your arms up to the Y from the YMCA and continue pulsing back. Thinking about how that changes the engagement from the muscles through your back. Can you feel it a little bit lower running down your back? If at any point you want to take a little moment to drop your hands, shake out the tension and then come back to it, absolutely listen to that feedback from your body and take that option and then just come back whenever you're ready. Beautiful, just three more pulses here and then we're gonna come up to an I position. So my hands are still facing each other. My thumbs are going back to the wall behind me and I'm going to continue pulsing. Now from this position, you might notice a tendency to arch through your lower back a little extra. Resist that urge, engage your core. Think about opening up that angle through your shoulder, through your armpit here. Drop your shoulders a little further away from the ears as you continue to pulse, getting nice and warmed up. You're gonna do some more upper body stuff today just to support your neck and shoulders and upper back. Beautiful, you can bring the arms down to the side, shake it out, do some beautiful, nice shoulder rolls here. And then do a really big circle with your left arm. And another really big circle with your right arm. Allowing that shoulder joint to feel really beautiful, full range of motion here. The next thing we're gonna do is just a little bit of breath work combined with motion. So inhaling your arms all the way up and exhaling them all the way down. One more time, just straight inhaling your arms all the way up, tall as possible, human you could be, and exhaling them down. This next time we're gonna inhale arms up, You'll clasp your hands and reach over to the left just as far as feels good. And down. One more time, reaching over to the left. And exhaling, arms down. This time we'll reach up and over to the right. Tipping over. And whenever you're ready to exhale them down, going with your own breath at your own cadence here. You go slower or faster than I'm going. Beautiful. Go ahead and do some more shoulder rolls here. If it feels nice, you could put your hands on your shoulders and draw the most gigantic circles possible with your elbows. Beautiful. Reverse the direction of those circles. Lovely. We're gonna take our hands, we're gonna clasp them behind our back. If that's not accessible for you, you could also just reach behind yourself here. I'm going to clasp my hands behind my back and then reach the knuckles down behind me. And I'm gonna take a couple of breaths, inhaling and opening my chest, exhaling and coming back to neutral. Inhaling, opening my chest and seeing if I can arch my back, not just my lower back, but working into the middle, even the upper back, opening up through my shoulders. So making a nice space for my chest here to open up, even though my hands are clasped behind my back. And then exhaling back to neutral. Again, inhaling, opening up through the front of my body here. 
If it feels good, I'm going to reach my chin up towards the ceiling as well, opening up through the front of my body a little bit more, and then exhaling back to neutral. This time, just open up through your shoulders, rolling your shoulders down and back, thinking about opening up through the chest, very top part here. And exhaling back to neutral. From here, go ahead and put your hands on your thighs, sliding your hands down, and you're going to round through your lower back, tuck your chin, get a nice counter stretch. Inhale, and then exhale round again. Using your abs to tuck your pelvis, get a nice rounding through your lower back, especially right now. Come back to neutral. And go ahead and round, tucking your chin, putting extra emphasis on tucking your chin, getting a nice counter stretch for your neck. And come back up to a neutral position. Now we're gonna attack the shoulders from a slightly different angle. I'm gonna reach my right arm all the way up towards the ceiling, stretching it up as high as it possibly can go, and then reaching down my back. So I've got my elbow handy here. If it feels good and I wanna lean into the stretch a little bit more, I'm gonna hold on to that right elbow with my left hand and help myself into the stretch, slowly easing into it. Pulling on my elbow just a little bit, just a little bit to help myself into the stretch, not to the point that it's uncomfortable or tingly or nervy or anything negative like that. From here, I'm going to try and drop my shoulders a little bit more. Take a few deep breaths. And release. We'll start off now with the left arm going straight up towards the ceiling. Bending at the elbow, reaching down my back, and then taking my right hand to help myself into the stretch a little bit more. Settling in slowly. If you find any tight spots, taking a moment to recognize that muscle and thank it for all it's been doing. Maybe it's been working really hard for you, maybe it hasn't gotten that much love from you recently. Pulling myself slightly deeper into the stretch here. Inhaling and exhaling. Dropping my shoulders away from my ears. Beautiful. Bring the arms down, allow it to shake out. Do whatever little wiggles you need to come back to a neutral feeling. Now I'm going to take my right arm, bring it across my body. Use my left hand to help myself into the stretch and bring the shoulder up towards the ears and down towards the ground, exploring the different angles of the stretch. Beautiful. See if you could settle in a little bit deeper by pulling your arm slightly further into the stretch taking stock of whatever feedback your body is giving you. Nice. If it feels good, you can adjust the angle through your neck. Experimenting. And then go ahead and switch sides, dropping both hands down and then bringing the left hand across the body and allowing the right hand to help yourself into the stretch a little bit more. Beautiful. Playing with the angles again, drawing the shoulder up towards the ear and then down towards the ground. Breathing deeply. Settling in. So when you become accustomed to the stretch, pulling yourself in slightly deeper so you can still feel that pleasant, gentle stretch feeling. 
Excellent. Allowing your arms to come down. Shoulder rolls again if it feels nice. And now I'm going to take a moment to drop my left ear towards my left shoulder. I'm actively reaching away with my right hand. Then I'm going to take my left hand and if it feels good, give myself a gentle little massage. Starting at the skull right behind the ear. And then just working my way down my neck. Doing a little bit of playing around to see what feels good here. And you aren't necessarily going in a straight line from ear down to shoulder, following that trajectory, but moving back, maybe even a little bit further than you think might be relevant to see if anything feels good over there. Forward, giving a little love to your traps where your um, neck and shoulder connect here. And coming back up to center whenever you've finished with all of those spots that feel good. Now I'm going to drop my right ear to my right shoulder. I'm going to reach away with my left hand. And then starting right behind the ear again, giving myself a little tiny massage while I'm stretching. Playing with all the points that I can find from the ear down through the shoulder. If you're even able to find stretchy spots uh, in your shoulder, you can go ahead and massage your arm as well. Go to where the stretching is. Whenever you're ready, come back up. And we're gonna give our hands a little bit of love because they do a lot of work for us, whether we're at work or at home. I'm gonna take my fingertips and place them together. And I'm gonna start with my hands up by my face. And then I'm just gonna drop them down until I'm able to feel a nice stretch through my wrists. Hang out here, wherever you have that ideal stretch level. If it's too intense, back off and bring your hands up slightly. If it's not intense enough, drop your hands a little further. Play with some angles by tipping your fingertips towards your body and then away. You can also manipulate this stretch so you're drawing more on one hand. Stretching that a little bit more intensely, and then the other. Just finding what feels good. Now take your palms and put them all the way together. Do the same thing, starting with hands high and then dropping them down lower. Playing with angles to find what feels good for you. The counter stretch will be making fists and then dropping the knuckles towards each other, doing some circles. Giving your hands and wrists and forearms a little bit of love here. Taking a moment to recognize and appreciate all that they do for us every day, how they support us, how we support ourselves and how we're grateful and appreciative of that. Thank you all so much for joining me today. That's our 15 minutes. And I hope you had a good time. Have a great afternoon.